Okay, um... And some shopping done at Walmart. But, um... Right now, um, I, I guess, like, yesterday, um, Thursday, um, I had a hell of a time to get in Menards to let me go home on time. I was scheduled to be done at 2. But here they must have sent Michael to lunch, and they said I could not go home. And I said, well, I got a meeting with a banker at 3, and I don't want to be late. Yeah, and it's like, eh. Uh, so, here's the outcome. We did get approved for a mortgage of $120,000. But, um, the downfall is for my husband and I. They want around seven to $9,000 for a down payment, which we do not have if we were to find a house in that price range. Um... It's sad to say, but we seriously don't have that kind of money, and we're looking at our options because we were trying to tell her we are willing to do a zero, a hundred percent mortgage because we don't really have that money. And yes, you do need the money. What she told us is you need to save a reserve, which we hate to say it to her. It is hard for us to do because. My husband works at Walmart in maintenance, and he only makes around eleven, twelve dollars an hour, and I make only eleven ninety eight an hour, and I'm part time. You know, he's full time, getting forty hours, but it's me. I get anywhere between twenty to thirty hours working at Menards. And that's why I've been looking for a full-time job, really. It, it is just hard to say this to a banker, too. And she goes, could you come up with the extra thousands of dollars this spring? And we were, like, looking at her, it's like, no. It would take us a lot longer than that because we got bills. We got the cell phone bill. We pay heating. The electric, um, we pay even the water bill, living in an apartment, and she goes, could you do a month-to-month -month lease? And we're like, no, they only want us to do a yearly signing. And, matter of fact, Foxborough has not yet sent us anything asking us if we wanted to renew our lease yet or not. And they did last year in March, and we signed it. Now, this year, we don't know what's going on. But they got three other tenants in that apartment building that we're living in that are leaving. So, um, the thing is, we're, we're like, we can't really save that kind of money. And then she was like, Oh, could you pull away $800 a month on top of paying for all your bills? And we're like, no. And then she looked at me and said, oh, could you ask for more hours at Menards? So I'm like, no, they, they'll only give me so many hours and I, I need days off. And then she started pointing at me saying that, oh, couldn't you at least get another job, a second job? And I'm like, no, because if I had to work mornings at Menards and change my availability to mornings, they might cut my hours back even more. And then to say that I can only work at, let's say, McDonald's for at night, I'm not going to have any time off, really, to myself. And... I still wouldn't be making that kind of money that that I should. And, and she was talking about some Ramsey, and I'm like, I never heard of that guy. And, and I'm like, 
it's good and all that you can save your money, but you and your husband must have degrees and really good paying jobs where you could put away $3,000 into your savings during three months. And then she said, cut back. And I'm like, that'd be really hard to cut back. I mean, you know, yeah, we don't really go out to the movie theater as it is. We don't eat out much. I mean, well, she sounded like we should live off of Chef Boyardee for months straight. I'm like, that wouldn't work either because eventually Arnie would get sick and tired of Chef Boyardee and so would I. And then what? We're supposed to switch over to eating macaroni and cheese just so we could save $3,000 within so many months? No, and I'm like, isn't there a better way where we could get a house loan? Or, but yeah, she said we qualified for this one that she wanted us in. And I'm like, I don't care, but we could do the hundred percent down. Yes, it would take longer to pay it off within thirty years. We ain't gonna move right away. That that's the thing again. It's like, yeah, you could do some fixing up, but, you know, it's a hard one to say. So right now, we're kind of weighing our options. My husband and I aren't even thinking about getting an apartment on the lower level since we're upstairs, technically. With all our health problems we're having, you know, it's like... Me getting an apartment on the lower level with everything included. Right now, we don't have everything included with our rent pay at our apartment. Um, so, you and I have been trying to cue me. <laughs> so, it was surveys, but it's like, it takes a long time to accumulate money doing surveys, you know. And... Yeah, so it it ain't always as easy, even I've been thinking too about, I know it would sound pointless, but me starting back up that survey against Walmart to try to get them to remove that red flag. After all, they weren't able to really investigate something with no physical evidence or proof, especially since it was an invasion of privacy issue, you know? But, like I said, those ones broke the law, and then they turned the story and lied to the store manager. I do have witnesses proving that my firing at Walmart was planned, but even Walmart doesn't want to ask them. And that's a, one option, but the other option is, and, and it's so hard to get a different job, let alone a, a full-time job. And then she's saying... You should save up three months reserve in your savings in case either one of you get to be unemployed. And I'm like, well, that's hard to say. Because she said, well, what if you buy a house and you have no money, no credit on your credit cards and a heater goes out? What, what do you do now to pay for it? And I'm sitting there like, you should be asking what happens if... Something goes wrong with your car and you need that money now. Before you could save this money for that down payment, like you're saying, to repair your car. Or what if something medically goes wrong with either Arnold or I and now we got a really high cost in medical bill. Now that money has to go towards some, some medical bills and now we can't save that money for that um down payment on the house like you're saying and it's like we gotta eat too so and yeah groceries are not cheap and um that that's a sad thing to say uh, and it's like yeah and two i didn't want to tell the banker i am trying to get my estee store pickers place shop off the ground and being profitable 
Um, because if I, because like on Etsy, I'll sell handmade stuff if anyone buys. I never was able to, I have had no luck with Estee. I never been able to sell a thing on Estee. I have better luck with eBay, really. Because eBay, I could sell antiques on if I get them for a real good deal on an estate sale or a garage sale where I could flip them. I will not sell anything breakable just because I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> so, 